and we're live. I couldn't believe you didn't bring a gun. I was surprised that you were really insistent on the necessity of that. Yeah. Yeah. Like the cross country kind of thing. Like, I don't know. I'd want a gun. It's heavy and it's like something to manage all the time. You know, like I don't, my guns stay locked. Right. So like it's on the bike, it's out there in the parking lot. I have to bring it in every night. I have to like, it's a, uh, is a responsibility to doing it well on an unlocked motorcycle mm -hmm. that I didn't want to deal with. Fair enough. I would, I don't know. I don't know. That's something about a well, cross Don't fuck with trail. Kyle when he goes to Colorado. Like, <laughs> I'll have a crossbow. I might look into that. Yeah. Like, like, can you get a crossbow onto a motorcycle? Is that, is that, mm -hmm. I can do that, right? A knife I, gets you pretty far. Can you have, you could probably have that post. A katana. You're, you're right. You're right. A katana. <laughs> a katana. I am a student of the okay, blade. Michonne. A student of the, you know, you're yes. on a, uh, you're on a motorcycle. Get a lance. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's good thinking. A knife, even like a, a multi-tool, which you'll find other uses for with a blade that locks, I feel like is a pretty good defensive weapon. Mm, I don't know. I want something that shoots stuff. I, I think I think a crossbow is my, my go-to. Or okay. a longbow. I could be the longbow guy. <laughs> uh, the the bike? Longbow guy. <laughs> Are you going to be like the standing long... on it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll stand on the motorcycle seat and and fire my longbow off. I, I the guy that owned the the gun shop uh, from my from my town, he he rode a bike. I don't know what kind, some kind of uh, street bike. And uh, I'd see him riding around town, and he would have his vector on his back, <laughs> so he like, <laughs> like, like like fully automatic Chris vector. Like fo they fold into like this tiny little compact thing when you fold the stock up, and he just have it like on his back, like on a sling, and like like really tightly on his back. So Hot load, like can we see a picture of a vector? I'm curious. A Chris vector. That was in uh Modern Warfare 2, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had two of those. Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> it sucks. Yes, I know. It's not cool. It's sad. It's like yeah. <laughs> you know, it, Oh man. You have yeah, I, I my I my friends in real life ask me about that shit all the time. They're like, that guy you do the show with is he doing all, what is he is he going to get his guns back and i was like it doesn't look like it man and they're what? like oh <laughs> no but it, how many was it and i'm like probably like half a million dollars and he goes oh, oh. <laughs> it's like it's like I'm, I'm it's like i'm striking them they're so upset by it oh yeah. how does it fold <laughs> kyle it is, so, how so there's a couple of them there. There. So, so there's different kinds so you see the uh, the tan one in the top that is yes. the new that's the newer thing they they offered me those and uh, I turned them down. I did not want the ones with the buffer tube because that's basically like a buffer tube attached to the back um, that doesn't have a spring in it. It's not actually doing any buffer tubing. Um, and then, you know, it's got an AR stock. So that telescopes, right? That's as compact as that is going to get. It does not fold mm -hmm. in that configuration. There's probably a foldable one with the now, but but uh, with, with the AR stock. But at the time, there wasn't. Um, and then, like, this is some, so the one that's kind of top center right now. That's something I've never seen before. That's some new shit. That's a weird fucking thing I've never seen before. But um, like the one that he's got, uh, like like that thing that's like dangling down. I don't even know what that is. It looks like some sort of a, a new fangled. I don't know what don't that know, is because now I don't feel quite as bad as having no fucking idea it, what that is. It might just be a it might just be a strap. But remove that strap from the equation. Just take that out with your mind. And that's what I had, like exactly mm -hmm. like that. And uh, and that that stock completely folds um, around against the weapon. So you end up with um if you look on the left side of the screen center um the way that one is displayed with no stock at all it ends up being about that big so is and, that technically and, like a pistol is yeah that... um yeah oh, that's a and, pistol and in that configuration he's got like a um probably a 17 round glock magazine stuck in it so you can see the magazine kind of angled uh right where your your left hand would grip that's the mag mm -hmm. that's the mag there um, but obviously like there are, you can put a bigger mag that's like 30, 32 rounds or something like that in there. And it, it sticks way out like that. Yeah. But it like it white. Oh. Yep. Yep. Uh, mine Ooh, I like the, is it called a yeah. scope? The red dot? Is that all, is that in the scope? For, what would, what do you that's call it? That makes just, it looks like you're I, enforcing the laws of the Imperium. I mean, like, that's so yeah, right. trooper to me. Uh, I don't know. Just call it an optic and you cover all your bases usually. Can't Roger be wrong that. then. I like the optic on it. I think it I think it fits the gun. Ooh, yeah. That one. 
That one's um, got all kind. That's a Tarkov gun, right they're there. They're very the, quiet because um, that you know it's um, mine. Oh, it is literally a Tarkov gun. I'm sorry, I mm -hmm. cut you off. <laughs> yeah, they they come in nine millimeter, but I had 45 ACP ones, uh, which I think is the ri original caliber they were caliber they were designed in, and uh, with a suppressor, which I had. Uh, I think I had a Silencer Co. suppressor stuck on it. Um, very quiet, like paintball gun quiet. Oh, that's neat. Like, like literally, poof, poof, poof. Um, you you could hear the bullets impact. You could hear that crack when they hit trees and stuff. Try. Huh. Looks cool. I like that about it. It's a piece of shit. Yeah. Piece Is it expensive? <laughs> uh, I have no idea. Those are like I, I guarantee they are. I, if I had to guess, looking at. So. Yeah, I, I I don't know what they charge for them. Um, they they just gave them to me. Um, but, but it's uh, probably not crazy. Like probably less than two grand. I would imagine less than two grand, like fifteen hundred. To seventeen hundred, you know, if you wanted some more accessories, probably if you wanted a buffer tube one, you're probably adding a couple hundred or something, which I think most people do prefer that. Mm. 